Happy World Oceans Day, and welcome to Global Ocean TV, brought to you by The Terramar Project. I am today's host, Rob Foos. We were busy over the weekend. On Friday, we participated in the Department of State's Fish Hackathon event. The Fish Hackathon partnership brings together the U.S. government with private sector and civil society to answer Secretary Kerry's call to save our ocean. This year's events kicked off in 12 cities around the world with opening receptions in each city and continued throughout the weekend to let participants develop their solutions to problem statements solicited from fisheries experts around the world. On behalf of the ocean and all the creatures that call it home, we'd like to thank all volunteers from all over the world for dedicating this past weekend to saving the world's oceans. On Sunday, the Terramar Project joined the New England Aquarium's World Oceans Day Festival held in Boston, Massachusetts, right on Boston Harbor. Hundreds of visitors had the opportunity to take a virtual dive of the reefs off Heron Island and Molokini Island Preserve through Terramar's website while learning more about the ocean. And here are today's stories. Healthy Oceans, Healthy Planet, UN's World Oceans Day message. World Oceans Day is a chance to strengthen our resolve to appreciate, protect, and restore our oceans and their resources, said United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. In this potentially pivotal year, we must commit to using the gifts of the oceans peacefully, equitably, and sustainably for generations to come. Join Sylvia Earle 1,000 feet deep on World Oceans Day. What's it like to be with the National Geographic Society's explorer in residence, Sylvia Earle at the bottom of the sea? Find out in Beyond Blue, a new short film created by Kip Evans, Mission Blue's Director of Expeditions and Photography. Learn more about this expedition to the Cocos Islands in Sharkland, a new show premiering on Fusion at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday, June 8th. Seven Ocean Trends and What We Can Do About Them These seven threats to our oceans need our attention and consideration, not just on World Oceans Day, but every day. Preserved Blue Whale Heart to go on display at Royal Ontario Museum. The Royal Ontario Museum prepares what is believed to be the only actual blue whale heart specimen for display in the world. World Oceans Day World Ocean Radio discusses the efforts leading to the worldwide recognition of World Oceans Day. Check out these stories in the Daily Catch and be sure to tune back in tomorrow for the best ocean, river, and lake news from around the world. Thank you.